Namaste, hello, it's morning for me here in Lakita on a mountaintop doing yoga with you. This is crazy. I hope you're doing fantastic in our practice today. We've got 60 hard, hard minutes. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Hang forward, hang down to begin. I can't wait to start. Just shake out your head and your neck and your shoulders and your arms. Get everything loose up there as we begin here. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers back there, take them off of your back as far as you like. Feeling your shoulders open up as much as you want here. You got it, release your hands down to the floor. Roll up to standing, lift your arms up to the ceiling, take a big breath in, arching back. Fold back down to the floor from there, good. Separate your feet a little wider than your mat. Your right hand stays down. Keep that left arm up to the ceiling. Twisting your body to the left here. Maybe arch your back just a little bit. Bring that hand down to the floor, then take that right arm up, rotating the other way here. A few breaths like this. Bring that hand back down to the floor. One more time, let's roll up to standing. Lift your arms up, arch back again. Looking up, fold back down to the floor after that. And let's walk it back into down dog from there. Pedal your legs out, start to bend one knee, then the other back and forth here. It makes me so happy that you chose to be on your mat and make yourself better. But it's going to be strong, especially this first 45 minutes. Stay here and down dog a few more breaths, just like this. And now from down dog, bring your body forward into plank and lower down from there. Pick up dog, you got it. And back into down dog after that. One more time, rock star. Come forward into plank. Lower down from there. Up dog again, arching up as much as you like and then back into down dog after that. Beautiful. Step or hop it up, chair pose from there, sinking low in your legs as we warm them up. Arch your back up, get your arms out and up here. Fold it down and straighten your legs again from there. Just walk it back into down dog from there. Warming up your arms now, bring it into plank. First five push-ups, take them as low as you want. So they can always be from your knees throughout class. When you're done with your fifth push-up, make your way back into down dog from there. And my intention for you today is to really work you out and get super fit. So just get ready, do whatever you can. And here comes our first sequence. Take that right leg up in the air, keep it high. Let that left heel press way down here. Good, now once bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. Take that leg back out. And now come into crescent pose. Bring that right foot up inside your hand. Reach up and well, crescent, sink as low as you want you in that right leg here. Get into your balance a little more. Straighten your right you leg. You Maybe you look up a little bit higher. Bend that right leg again in crescent. Stay on that back foot, lean out over your front leg and stay right here. Now 
And bring your left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm up, twisting your body to the right for a few more breaths here. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Step it back into plank. Good. Lower down from there. Into a dog. And back into down dog after that. Warming up the other side. Take that left leg in the air. Keep it there. Let that right heel press way down again here. Bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. that leg back out. Coming into your first crescent on this side. Bring that left foot up, reaching up in crescent to start. Straighten your front leg. Look up a little bit higher if you want to challenge your balance a little bit more here. Got it. Bend that left leg again. Stay on that back foot. Lean out over your left leg, keeping it here. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm up, twisting your body left here. Maybe sink a little lower in that left leg. That's it, bring your left hand down, step your way back into plank, lower down again from there. Into up dog, and back into down dog after that. From here, step or hop your way up into chair pose A again. Bring your hands together at your heart. Twist to the right in chair. Twist here. Fold it down and straighten your legs from there. Roll up to standing. Come into chair pose again here. Your hands together right your heart twisting your body to the left and chair twist on this side fold down straighten your legs from there step or hop back into plank lower ring down from there into up dog and back into down dog after that. From there, take that right leg up in the air. Bring your knee to your left elbow and hold it as close as you can. Take that leg back out. Come into warrior one. Bring that foot up on this side and warrior one to start. Opening up warrior two from there. As your hips face the side of your mat. Look out over that right arm and warrior two. We're coming to triangle. Straighten your right leg. Bring your right hand out and down either to your shin or ankle. Maybe to a block or maybe to the floor as that left arm reaches up first here in triangle pose. few more breaths. Extend your left arm out forward so it's parallel to the floor. Two choices. Here for 10 more seconds or extend your right arm forward as well for 10 more seconds. Either way. Back up into warrior two from there. Nice. One more thing. Bring your right hand down to the floor inside that right foot. Reach your left arm forward at an angle. Out and up inside angle pose. And 
release your hands down to the floor. Good. Step it back into plank. Lower down from there again. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. And that strong left side. Take that left leg in the air. Bring that left knee toward your right elbow and hold it here. Take that leg back out in the air. Coming into warrior one on this side to start. And warrior two, shifting your hips now to face the side of your mat here. Triangle, straightening your left leg. Bring that left hand either to that chin or the floor or a block as that right arm rises up. Keep both legs as straight as you can. Now reach that right arm parallel to the floor as you reach it out and up. Stay here or add that left arm as well, either way. Bring it back into Warrior 2 from there. One more thing. Bring that left hand down to the floor inside that left foot. Put your right arm at an angle out and up here. Stay low in that left leg. Back leg is straight. Two more breaths here. That's it, release your hands down to the floor. Step to plank and stay right there in plank. Back into your arm strength, one arm balance on that right arm. Roll to the outside of your right foot as that left arm rises up. If it gets a little too hard, just drop that right knee down or you can take any other kind of variation you want here. Bring that left hand back down to the floor. One push up, maybe from your knees. Then one arm balance on the other side. Everything in that left arm here. Any kind of variation to make it a little easier, a little harder, or just stay like this. It's plenty hard as it is. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Stay right there in plank. Come down to your forearms and forearm plank here. First 10 seconds, stay like this. Walk your feet about halfway to your elbows in dolphin pose. So your shoulders are strong. Keep your legs as straight as you can. And make your way back up into down dog from there. So you straighten your arms. Good. Take that right leg up in the air again. Bring your right knee toward your right elbow here. You ain't gon' find nobody like me on your avenues Better come get me while you can I'm just passing through Ask me how I get Take this that leg through. back out in the air Come into crescent pose Bring that foot up inside your right hand Lift up in crescent to begin Yeah, I don't blame you If I was you, I'd probably be getting mad at two Reach your left arm straight forward. Take that right arm back as you twist your body to the right here. Reverse crescent, reach that left arm up and back. And your right hand is either on the back of that left leg or on your hip, whatever you want. It's gone like the tide, it's gone like the night. The stars in the sky and the sun. Bring it back into crescent from there. 
we're heading out to warrior three bring all your weight and balance onto that right leg you might have your arms out front which is the hardest or by your side hands at your heart is a little easier but balancing for 30 seconds here Bring your fingers to the floor. Standing splits. Get that left leg up as high as you want. 30 seconds here. Your hands might be on a block, on the floor, your right hand behind your ankle perhaps. Whatever you like. It's been too long, so pick yourself up and dust yourself off, cause you are enough. One more breath, get that left leg a little higher if you can. Back into crescent pose from there, reaching your body back up. A few more things, bring your hands together at your heart, crescent twist, bring that left tricep on your right thigh here. One more thing from here. Step your left foot to your right foot. So it puts you in chair twist to the right here. Stay low in your legs for a few more breaths. You can always take side crow here if you want to take that more advanced pose, but a few more breaths like this. Fold it down, straighten your legs. Good work on that right side. Stay here for a couple big, big breaths before we head on. From here, step or hop your way back into plank and lowering down from there. Into up dog again. And back, down dog from there. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring that left knee to your left elbow and keep it there. Take that leg back out. Coming into crescent pose. Bring that left foot up on this side to begin again. We're reaching your right arm straight forward and left arm back. Twisting it left. Reverse crescent, reach that right arm up, that left hand on the back of that right leg or on your hip, whatever you like. A few breaths as you take a back bend and twist and balance all at the same time. Back into crescent pose from there. Good, let's take it out. Warrior three, bring everything to balance out on that left leg and warrior three here. You can have your hands by your side or at your heart, whatever you like. And let your hands come down to the floor or a block, or maybe that left hand comes behind your left ankle. 30 seconds, keep that right leg as high as you can here. One more breath, get that leg up a little bit higher. Stepping your way back into crescent pose from there. From here, 
Come here, bring your hands together at your heart. Twisting your body to the left and crescent twist here. One more thing, step that right foot to your left foot, putting you in chair, twist to the left. Again, if you'd rather, you can also take side crow if you know it. Otherwise, stay right here, chair twist, a few more breaths. Fold it down, straighten your legs in a forward bend, good. Let's just walk your way back into down dog from there. From down dog, bring your body forward into plank. Come down to your forearms and forearm plank. This time, 10 seconds, lift your right leg up in the air and hold it here. Fantasizing like burning my suit. Set that right foot down, lift your left foot up here. We will never be. Set that foot down, come all the way down to your stomach and turn over onto your back as we get into your abs for a few minutes. Hug your legs in on your back. Your hands come by your ears or behind your head. Start to bicycle your body from right to left at any pace you want. A first minute just like this. Whatever pace you want. And if you need to rest at any time, go right ahead. in 30 more seconds keep going like this It. Hug your legs in from there. And reach your legs straight up to the ceiling. Your hands come by your ears. Reach your right hand up to your left toes and then back down. Left hand, right toes and back down. Keep going. Second minute here. Get any pace you want. And try to keep your legs as straight as you can as well. in 30 more seconds keep going like this out onto the floor, turn over on your stomach from there. One bow pose from here. Bend your legs, grab your feet or ankles behind you. That's too much, just interlace your hands behind you. But now lift your torso, knees and thighs up as high as you can and holding this a few big breaths. Good, release it down and just sit back in child's pose from there. Sitting back on your heels, you've been moving about 25 straight minutes. Great job. Couple long breaths in. You get ready to keep going on. Making your way now, back up to your hands and knees and back into down dog from there. And in down dog, take that right leg up in the air. 
Bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here. Take that leg back out. One more time. Bring your knee to your nose and hold it here. Reach that leg back out. Come into warrior two. Bring your foot up. Keep your arms around in warrior two. Next from there. In Miami, Dominicanos in the field like Poppy. I remember being stuck in the lobby. And I reverse warrior. Reach that right arm back. Back into warrior two. Head out to half moon now. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg in half moon. That right hand comes out and down from here. You might, right hand might be on the floor, on a block, or hover off of the floor. Lots of options for these 30 seconds here. You must be blinded by the lights. You must be blinded by the lights. Stepping your way back into Warrior 2 from there. And now bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm behind your back. Either stay right here or wrap that right hand under or go anywhere you want. There's a lot of options for these 30 seconds here. Whatever you want to take, just hold back. Some faith that who gon' hurt this? I not ignite you lullaby. I'm doing it. And that's it. Releasing your hands down you to the floor. Stepping it back into plank and lowering down it. from there. Watch it look daytime. Into in up dog. Light. And back into Bring down dog here. from there. We full of life, you keep the change. Keep the change. Take that left leg up in the air. Bring your knee you toward your nose and I'll hold it here. Good, reach it back out. One more time, bring that knee to your nose and hold it here again. Take that leg back out again. Come into warrior two, bring that foot up, keep your arms around. Reverse warrior, reach that left arm back from there. Back into warrior two. And then half moon for half a minute. Everything out on that left leg. Wherever you want your hand. Floor, a block. Yeah. Off the floor a little bit, but working on your balance on this left side as best you can. It should be a little different than your right side. Whatever that left side can do to balance is great here. Stepping your way now back into Warrior 2 from there. And now last, bring your left hand down to the floor. Take that right arm behind your back. Stay there or go anywhere you want. Again, half a minute just like this. Whatever you choose is fine. I still love it. Hello world, it's illuminate. Toast to living like I'm supposed to. Same kid from that basement on that old edition of Pro Tools. Now I'm living, I make a living on doing what I love and everything was written in stone. Now my women are fitted in clothes, the fifth and vogue. 
I'm living great, but make no mistake. There were times I didn't have a lot of hope. Old friends trying to shoot me down, and new friends are trying to steal my soul. I knew it then, what I know now. Just to give a lot and never kill the gold. Now I kill a lot just to get the gold. Swear to God, I was made for this. On some major shit, but. Releasing your hands down to the floor. You got it. Step it back into plank and lowering down. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Getting back into your core strength. Bring your body forward into plank. Stay here. 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Right knee to that left elbow. Set it down. Left knee toward your right elbow. Set it down. Keep going. 30 seconds here. Really raising your heart rate up. I'm working on that core strength and fitness like this. Halfway in here. Now with hello world, a kind fellow, sir. I'm in a work so hard, I'm on my way now. I'm killing everybody, dealing everybody on some everybody one cake, but nobody wanna bake, right? Everybody wanna play with the name on the side of the steak. Every evening, but nobody wanna make a sacrifice. Like a one to get the heaven and feet back there and you wanna have a lower down from plank now. Into up dog and back in a down dog after that. What if you don't make it from open mics to play main stage? Well, take that right leg up in the air. Bring your right knee to your right elbow and hold it here. Take it back out. Bring that right knee to your left elbow and hold it here. Take it back out again. Come into crescent pose. Bring that foot up in crescent to start now. Lift your right heel up off of the floor so it's a little harder for you to balance. I still love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I still love it, love it, love it, love it. Set that heel back down in crescent. Head out to warrior three from there. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg. Whatever arm position you want is fine. If your arms are tired, hands at your heart or by your side. Coming to twisting half moon now. Bring your left fingers down to the floor. Take your right arm up. And either keep that back leg straight or bend that back leg and grab your foot with that right hand if you want. 30 seconds like this. The left hand may be on a block or on the floor or hovering off the floor. A lot of options with that left arm. Bring that right hand back down to the floor. Stepping your way back into crescent from there. Now from here, bring your left hand down to the floor, right arm up, and your choice, stay in that twist, or take one arm balance, sliding that right leg back, you can take any variation you want in one arm balance if you're taking that, either way, that twist, or work strengthen that left arm, either way. Bring that hand down to the floor. Make your way back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog as you're ready. And back into down dog after that. That other side, take that left leg up in the air. First bring that left knee to your left elbow. Take that leg back out. Bring that left knee to your right elbow. Take that leg back out again. Come into crescent pose. Bring that foot up on this side and crescent to start. Lift your left heel up off of the floor next. Surrender, it's forever, you know, you know, this right here forever. I make it dead alive, make it dead 
Set your heel back down, crescent, and head out to Warrior 3. Bring everything to balance out on that left leg here. A few breaths just like this in Warrior 3. Bring your right fingers to the floor or a hand on a block. Or hover that hand off the floor. Left arm rises up or that left hand grabs that right foot behind you. 30 seconds here. Bring that hand back down to the floor. And stepping your way back into crescent pose from there where we begin. Bring your right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm up to the ceiling. Either stay here or turn it to one arm balance if you want to slide that left leg back. And you can stay in any variation if you want to take that rock star variation. Take that left foot back and over, flipping it over. Whatever you want here. Looking for a clear piece of mind so that I can see clear. So hard to find. I'm tripping. Good to come out, flipping it over, coming into plank from wherever you were, and lower down from plank into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Step or hop your way up into chair pose from there. Two choices, stay here in chair, or you can take crow pose if you know it and want to balance on your arms here. Either way, 10 more seconds like this. From where you are, full forward and down at the front of your mat. We're inside 10 more hard minutes to go, so just a little bit more work. Walk your way back into down dog from there. The down dog, bring your body into plank. 30 seconds, we've got mountain climbers again. Right knee to that left elbow and then back down. Left knee, right elbow, keep going. Any pace you want here. Back there is plank, lower down from plank. Into up dog. And back into down dog after that. Good, take that right leg again up in the air. Come into warrior one. Bring that foot up on this side and warrior one to begin. And warrior two from there. Reverse warrior, reach that right arm back from there. Bring it back into warrior two from there. Then we're heading out to half moon. Bring everything to balance out on that right leg. 30 seconds here. Right hand might be on a block, or on the floor, or hovering off the floor, whatever you want. Bring that left hand down to the floor. Keep your hand down on the floor or a block. Lower that left hip a little. 
take your right arm up in twisting half moon here. You can also reach back and grab that foot behind you if you want that again. Bring that hand back down to the floor. Step back into warrior one from there. And opening it up into warrior two. Five more hard minutes remaining now. Bring that right hand down to the floor. Take that left arm behind your back. Stay here or wrap that right hand under or take any variation that you want. Last hard 30 seconds on this right side here. Releasing your hands down to the floor. Good, step it back into plank and lower down from there. Into up dog and back into down dog from there. Good work on that side. And now that other side from down dog. Take that left leg up in the air. Coming into warrior one on this side to start. And opening it up into Warrior 2. Reverse Warrior, reach that left arm back from there. Bring it back into Warrior 2 from there. And then we're heading out to Half Moon. Bring everything to balance out on that left leg here. And again, that left hand may be on the floor, might be on a block, might be hovering off the floor as that right arm reaches up. That right leg is really straight as it extends back. Bring that right hand back down to the floor. It stays down. Take that left arm up. Maybe grab your foot behind you with that left hand if you want to add that. Whatever you'd like. 30 seconds here. that left hand down to the floor step your way back into warrior one from there and opening it up into warrior two bring your left hand down to the floor take that right arm behind your back and either stay here or go anywhere you want you want to wrap that left hand under or stand up and do Bird of Paradise, whatever you like here. Releasing your hands down to the floor. Step it back into plank. Last five push-ups here. Maybe from your knees. Take them as low as you like. Whenever you're done with that last push-up, it's up dog and down dog from there. Step or hop it up into chair pose from there. Lift your heels up off of it, of course, so it's a little bit harder to balance and maybe sink a little lower into your legs.
fold it down and straighten your legs from there. Step or hop your way back into plank. Lower down from there. Into up dog. Back into down dog from there. Come down to your knees in child's pose and relax. Sit back on your heels and rest. The hard part's over. Thank you for working for 45 minutes. You're definitely a rock star. That is tough. After all that work, take about a minute here to relax. Slow your breath down, wipe off, or take a drink. And just slow your breath way down from there and rest. more breaths you can stay in child's pose or bring your torso up and lean your torso back in reverse child resting on your hands or elbows or lying all the way back whatever feels better a few more breaths like this from where you are bring your body up Sit down onto your mat. Butterfly pose is next. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go wide apart. When you're ready, put your hands under your feet. Pull your body forward and down from there. Sink as low as you want in your legs like this. Your breath, slow itself down. Let the muscles in your shoulders and your neck and your face start to really relax here. Coming into pigeon on that right side, so keep your right leg just about like it is. That left leg sweeps back, you're on your forearms, you're letting your head relax down. And if you have a different hip opener you would like to take instead, go right ahead and find that and take that. You've got a minute like this, just find your starting place and relax. All these poses from here on out have the intention of opening you up, easing your heart rate down, and relaxing. to that second side, finding your way into pigeon or any hip opener that you like. And then again, once you found your starting place, slow your breath down and just rest and relax like this. Our own table. Uh, they want to let us in. 
make it this grand. Cause they about to win again. I wrote the vision and I made it plain. And I stayed focused and I built the lane. Now we booking tickets and we taking planes. And our time zones never stay the same. And it started when I met the game. Then we made the team. Then we took the league and we did our thing. Cause we chased the dream. And I was a diamond in the rough. I was a in the rough. Final few yeah, breaths like this. Yeah, Come out from here, lift yourself up, make your way all the way on to your back from there. Come into a happy baby once you get there. Reach inside your knees, grab the outside of your feet. Releasing your feet. Set your feet on the floor. Two back bends. First one here. Lift your hips up in the air with your feet down. Hips lift high and either bridge interlacing your hands under you. With your hands under your shoulders, take wheel pose as you straighten your arms, whichever back bend you like. Make sure you can breathe wherever you are. Bring this first back bend down and hug your legs in from there. And then one more time, set your feet down on the floor, lift your hips up in the air, bridge pose or wheel pose, whichever back bend you like. down from there hug your legs in again rock up to sitting and extend both legs straight out in front of you and when you're ready just take your hands up and then out and then down your legs as far as you like in a minute like this slow your breath down again and just relax the hardest parts are all behind us as we head toward Shavasana, now just really let your body unwind here. up from here and coming into plow sweep your legs up and over your head if you want to take a different inversion you are welcome to otherwise plow and you can stay in plow with your hands on your back or you can reach your legs up to the ceiling for shoulder stand with your hands on your back or any variation you'd like About half a minute just like this If you're in shoulder stand, make your way back into plow from there. And roll your back all the way down to the floor from there. 
Hug your right leg into your body. Let your left leg reach out on the floor and coming into a twist. Your left hand takes that knee to the left. A few big breaths here. Bring that leg back up. Extend that leg out. Bring that left leg in. Take that leg over to the right. Our last twist here. that leg back up to center extend that leg out onto the floor as we head into shavasana find someplace comfortable close your eyes from there and last take a big big breath in and hold that deep breath in here Open your mouth, sigh that breath all out from there. You made it. After your work and your effort, that commitment to your strength. Now you just get to let your body rest as deeply as you like these last minutes here. Begin to move your fingers and toes again now. And slide your heels gently back and roll onto your right side. Good, and press up to sitting. 
and close your eyes. Bring your hands together right at your heart. I love every single thing that you have just done. Thank you for carving this time out, for getting onto your mat, for pushing yourself as much as you could have today and putting your body in a better, healthier space inside and out. Just as these mountains surrounding me are endless, they're beautiful, so is your soul. So thank you for bringing more of that out. I really look forward to the next time we get to practice yoga together again. Here from La Quinta, Namaste. Namaste.